And we're all here to announce the introduction of three bills. They are ABs 2596, 2597, and 2598. These three bills will promote and defend the civil liberties of Californians in general and immigrant communities, communities of color, and youth in particular. The Vision Act, or AB 2596. Vision stands for voiding inequality and seeking inclusion for our immigrant neighbors. Once a Californian has paid their debt to society and earned their release from our state prison systems and jails, they should be released back to society, to their community, to their family, rather than funneled into Trump's detention and deportation machine where they may suffer, hurt, harm, and abuse in for-profit private civil detention centers and be ripped apart from their families and sent to countries they may not even know. The Vision Act will close a long list of carve-outs that are in the California Values Act to ensure that immigrants have earned, who have earned release from jail are not subjected to a second punishment, to a double punishment uh, of getting turned over ICE, thrown into immigration detention facilities, and deported. This is going to save so many countless families so much car countless heartache that you cannot even understand. It's some of the worst pain and struggles you feel will be in the immigration system. Prison is nothing that compares to that. Currently, and for the past two decades, many Californians have been and are the target of pervasive surveillance and harassment by the FBI and their Joint Terrorism Task Force, referred to in short as JTTF, which is when California law enforcement agencies sign an MOU with the FBI that puts participating California law enforcement officers under the control of the FBI. The FBI's authority is not the same as that for state and local law enforcement officers who must adhere to state and local law. By participating in the JTTF and following the lead of the FBI, local officers place themselves at legal risk of violating the more restrictive state and local standards. In addition, we lose control of our local officers when they become deputized by the JTTF and act as federal agents rather than local law enforcement abiding by California law. The Safe California Civil Rights Act will ensure that California and local values guide our officers' actions to protect the civil liberties of all Californians. Now, more than ever, the FBI and the GTTF have become tools for the Trump administration to further advance their attacks on already vulnerable communities impacted by the Muslim ban, by racial profiling. We need a solid barrier between local law enforcement agencies and the FBI, and this bill would provide just that. I believe law enforcement is for public safety, and the fear tactics we see, they instill fear, not safety. And we need security and safety for everyone throughout California. I really commend Assemblymember Banta for bringing this forward, because for far too long, our communities have felt the perpetual outsiders who continue to be a community of suspicion rather than Having be, having be communities that belong. The bill is quite simple. It will require businesses that provide data services to the state of California to certify that they will not provide ICE, Customs and Border Protection, or the Office of Refugee Resettlement with the information they need to track or that they desire to track, detain, and deport our most vulnerable immigration, immigrant populations. The bill is a good faith attempt to create an incentive for businesses to act in a manner that is compassionate, humane, and consistent with California's values of opportunity, equity, justice, and inclusion. This bill makes clear that the state should not do business with companies that help the federal administration destroy California families and rip apart communities. California has an interest in protecting our neighborhoods from the trauma of raids and folks should not fear the risk of deportation simply because they have to participate in a modern economy. These private data brokers are collecting public records, utility bills, phone records, driving records, and so on and so forth, and feeding it to ICE. Together, these vital measures will prevent violations of state and local laws during joint terrorism task forces. They will promote state contracting with companies that share our state's values relating to extreme vetting of data and will not share information with ICE and Customs and Border Protection. And finally, these bills will protect individuals, including those sentenced as juveniles and who have earned release from jails or prisons from being handed over to immigration officials for detention and deportation.